Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a horror movie review and I'll be having a look at the movie Curse of Chucky. So Curse of Chucky is the latest sequel in this long running child's play franchise. Now before I get into this review proper I want to talk a little bit about the child's play series and particularly what it means to the people of UK. Now obviously being British myself um, you may not know if you're watching from another country, but this series actually holds a little bit of infamy in the UK because when Child's Play 3 came out, there was actually a, quite a heinous crime committed against the young boy and the, the kind of the blame was partially put on the Child's Play 3 as kind of influencing the, the culprits who actually you know, did the crime. That's kind of one of these things that were, you know, the young kids were watching this film and were influenced by and ultimately committed a crime and henceforth Child's Play 3 and I'm pretty sure possibly the entire original trilogy was actually banned from the UK for, uh, for quite a few years. Now obviously the Child's Play series since then has kind of gone more into a kind of a horror comedy sort of type route with a kind of the Bride of Chucky and the Seed of Chucky for example. But this movie actually goes back to its kind of original suspenseful horror roots. Now this, as I said this is actually a sequel that does fit into the sort of Chucky continuity but I would actually say it's fairly accessible for new watchers who haven't seen this franchise. Obviously this franchise started a long time ago and obviously younger people may not have seen certainly the older films. So you can actually get into this movie and watch it as a kind of standalone film. I will say that there are a couple of things that happen towards the end of this movie. that If you haven't seen some of the original sort of Charles Play films you may think mm, I'm not quite sure who that person is and what have you. But for the most part I think it's fairly accessible and you can kind of watch it as a sort of horror franchise and maybe this will spin off into a kind of almost like a new sort of Chucky franchise from fresh ultimately. So the story here is the, the, the Chucky doll arrives in the post to this old gothic mansion which is populated by an older lady and her daughter who is paraplegic who is actually played by the daughter of Brad Dourif and if you, that name rings a bell it's because he's the actual voice of Chucky and uh, his daughter Fiona Dourif plays really the title character, well, the main character, Nika. Uh, and earlier in the movie the, the kind of the mother is actually murdered we don't see it but obviously we have to assume obviously it's Chucky initially anyway and the rest of the family sort of turn up to obviously support Nika and obviously sort out things and we have Nika's sister Barbara her husband their young daughter and the doll is given to the the young daughter and of course as time goes on you know Chucky's on, on this kind of murderous rampage and determined to sort of slice through this family and it actually transpires that Chucky or the, the spirit that inhabits the Chucky doll at least actually does have some ties to this family that's kind of explored in an interesting way throughout the movie. Now it's been nine years since the last sequel uh, and as I mentioned this this sequel is a lot more sort of standard horror movie rather than the kind of horror comedies that we've maybe come to expect from these kind of like living doll things. So it's actually a really suspenseful movie and it kind of has a lot of, uh, of creepy moments and quite a lot of jump scares. It actually has quite a lot of fake outs as well so be prepared to kind of be hiding behind your pillow if you're kind of the sensitive type. Now obviously the, this movie was actually not, in, not theatrically released and uh, you may be under the assumption if it's kind of a director DVD or director sort of video on demand the quality might not be very good but I have to tell you that the actual quality of this movie is pretty high and I was actually thoroughly impressed with what they've done here. There's maybe a couple of niggles that I've got. There's maybe one shot where there's kind of it does have a little bit of ropey CGI and there's a couple of moments within the kind of I guess the last third of the film where there's a couple of lapses in logic and kind of physics that just don't really don't really make a lot of sense and seem a little bit illogical. But to be quite honest, the, there's very little wrong with this movie. It's actually a very, very well made film. I think the acting is pretty decent. I mean, um, Brad Dourif's daughter, Fiona Dourif, I think is actually does a fantastic job and she's she's really going to be a, a, an actress to what's going forward. I've not seen any of her previous work prior to this, but uh, I think she does a great job. But, but to be fair, you know, everyone in the cast does it, you know, at the very least a passable job. But I had, I had no problem with the acting whatsoever. I think the, the, the camera work and the style of this film was absolutely fantastic. There's some very, very sort of artistic shots where you kind of see reflections and things like that. And there's some really great use of lighting and shadow in this movie as well. 
Now Chucky himself is a kind of, as I, say, as I mentioned earlier on, they do use some CGI but there's obviously a lot of practical effects as well. I would say maybe Chucky's look kind of changes a little bit throughout the film. His hair seems to sort of grow. Uh, it seems very sort of long in some places and kind of shorter in others. He does express sort of emotion when he actually moves his face and things like that. There are sometimes it just looks like they're kind of maybe the sort of size is slightly different, things like that. Now it does all tie in with the actual larger continuity and one thing I will say with this movie is make sure you stay to the end credits because if you're a fan of the entire series there's an absolute treat for you at the end here. But overall this was a really decent film, I wasn't expecting too much because I wasn't a huge fan of the, sort of the Child's Play series especially because of the kind of like the later films but this one was really really good and I'd definitely be checking out uh, Brad Dourif's daughter, Fiona Dourif, I think she was really good. Even the child actress, I think, who played the young daughter, was pretty decent. It's, although she just seemed to be absent from the kind of the last third of this movie. Definitely worth checking out, though. I'm going to go high on this, so I'm going to go 8.5. Really decent horror movie. Don't worry that it's a director DVD movie. It's worth checking out. Let me know if you've seen it and what your comments. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.